Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. Hello and welcome to this episode of Changing Lanes, the official podcast of BMW. My name is Sarah. And my name is Jonathan. Today on the podcast, we've got a special treat for all of the BMW M enthusiasts. But if you're listening and maybe don't know that much about the BMW M subbrand, here's a quick recap to get in the know. All right, so we all know BMW and those initials, but what about the M at the end of BMW M? Well, the M stood for motorsport, and the motorsport racing program was very successful in the 1960s and 70s. And as time passed, BMW M began to supplement BMW's vehicle portfolio with specially modified higher trim models, which we all know by the general public. For example, the M3, the M5, the M6, and so on and so forth. All right, that makes sense. So thanks for that, Jonathan. And where do we go from here? <laughs> yeah, sure thing. Right. So with all that knowledge in our back pocket and in our brains, many exciting cars are on our minds right now. So let's get started. So the colors of the BMW M logo are just as exciting. We've got blue, we've got purple, and we've got red. But these are wonderful colors in art class, but you might be asking yourself, where do they come from? What do they mean? And who created the trademark? Why don't we start with the most obvious, the blue, so Bavarian blue. That's one of the colors in the BMW logo design, which we covered in a podcast a while back that was podcast number 10. So the blue is for Bavaria. That's the official color of Bavaria. But what about the others? What about purple and red? Well, that was the result of a collaborative project that has a myth attached to it. Exactly. Way back in 1972, there were three people that were involved in selecting these colors for the design of the motorsport division. Jochen Niepasch, which was then the race director and co-managing director of BMW Motorsport. Then there was Wolfgang Seehaus, then the BMW interior designer, and finally Manfred Renner, then the BMW exterior designer. Three very important people who were important in creating this design. Yeah, so the newly created sports car division was meant to combine and professionalize BMW's racing activities under a single unified corporate identity. And the unifying element for all of this was to be a crisp color scheme. And the designer Zehaus was part of the team in charge of it, and he was the one who created the BMW M colors of blue, purple, and red. We spoke to Mark Teesberger about this. He's a car and racing historian for BMW Group Classic. And he told us that the red most likely comes from the oil company Texaco, which was in negotiations with BMW back then about possibly joining as a sponsor in racing. The sponsoring negotiations with the company unfortunately broke down at the end of 1972 and the deal never came to be, but the red still remained. Exactly. And this is where things get kind of interesting. So Teesberger considers this plausible due to the fact that Zehaus had already brought into the entire logo design, the Texaco logo, into the new racing car designs in 72, as backed up by various design drawings in the BMW Group archives. So imagine fishing through those archives and finding that. Now, this was at a time way back when, when BMW was participating in racing events with the support of Castrol. Now, Castrol, their logo was a familiar green that we all know. So according to Thiesberger, it was very strange and unusual to add in the red just as these negotiations with Texaco were beginning. But they could perhaps have been an attempt to win the company over. However, the world will never know. Well, Zehaus's colleague, Manfred Rennen, also claimed to have been involved in the design of the logo's colors, though Teesberger says that there are no historical documents to verify this. While Jochen Nerpasch confirmed this enduring Texaco legend, Rennen denied that Texaco had played a role in the color scheme. So seriously, a behind-the-scenes story if I ever heard one. Totally. And just for the color red in the logo. Sheesh. So that leaves the question of the purple or the violet color. Well, 
This one, thank goodness, is easier than the red, as violet was simply chosen as a blend of the two other colors, blue and red. Ah, so that makes sense. I, I get it. So that <laughs> is how the design was conceptualized. But premiering the logo to the general public was also interesting. The tri-color BMW M colors quickly found their way onto the racing cars of BMW. The striking color design was given its racing debut in 1973 on the BMW 3.0 CSL, which would also go on to become a BMW icon as a result. And according to Nepash, external graphic designer Pierre Mendel was responsible for the vehicle's final design in cooperation with BMW designer Renan. And to this day, the performance cars in the racing division still sport the renowned M colors in various sizes and designs. So really iconic. Amazing. And we're just talking about the colors here. Like, this is so introspective. But here's something that is also often forgotten. The BMW M blue, purple, and red color scheme has been around actually much longer than the M logo. The combination of these colors and the M itself. Yes, I get it. The colors were used from the 1973 BMW M series onwards, but it wasn't until 1978 five years later, that the letter M was incorporated into the logo itself with the launch of the BMW M1, the very first car to be developed by BMW M. Pretty interesting. And since then, the tricolor scheme and the M have always been used together, and they are emblazoned on all BMW M vehicles. But... With those colors out of the way and that M being integrated, what does the actual logo mean? Sarah, do you want to take this? Sure. Okay, so the legendary BMW M Power logo used since 1978 featuring those three stripes leaning against the M is intended to emphasize the speed and dynamic nature of the BMW M series. It was conceived by the design studio Ital Design under the direction of Giorgio Giugiaro, and it's also known as the Giugiaro M. Exactly. And I mean, if you just look at the logo, it looks fast. It looks active. It looks like it's on the go. And it's so cool to see a logo and you just instantly get a vibe off of it. And you know that that was the intention by the designers. Yeah, totally. All right. So over the years... There have been minor, subtle, tiny little changes to the BMW M logo. And the design of the logo and the BMW stripes has been carefully refined with the color purple changed to a dark blue, for example. Very small, but also very important. Actually, the most recent update to the corporate design was made just recently in March 2020, and since then, the BMW communication logo has been sporting its new look solely for brand communication. And the change is that it is now two-dimensional as opposed to three, and it features four colors, light blue, dark blue, red, and a white M. So, I mean, this is really the case of an iconic design keeping its identity, but also just moving forward with the times. Most definitely. So all in all, the origin of the BMW M colors is a pioneering achievement with a multifaceted tale. There are some things the world will never know, but what we do know is that BMW designer Wolfgang Zehaus played a leading role and that BMW designer Manfred Renan was, at the very least, involved in designing the stripes. Ital Design, under the direction of Giorgio Giugiaro, was responsible for creating the BMW M emblem, while the final stripes for vehicles came from design studio Pierre Mendel. So the logo and the colors were definitely a collaborative effort. Most definitely. And now, it's not only car enthusiasts who recognize and understand what the BMW M logo represents, BMW's sportiest model, of course, but it's also now our lovely podcast listeners who can recognize it as well. And there you have it, the story of the M colors and logo. I'm sure the next time you see it, you'll have a deeper understanding and appreciation of where it all comes from. And that, everybody, brings us to the end of this week's episode of Changing Lanes. And if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to subscribe to our podcast for future episodes. 
And to dive deeper into all things BMW, you can always head over to our website. That's bmw.com to learn a lot more. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Sarah. And this has been Changing Lanes. Thanks for listening. Thank you.